Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Please click the subscribe button and press the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we are going to learn about the yarn. So the yarn is nothing but yet another resource negotiator. Let's see what is yarn. Yarn is a package manager for our code that helps to manage project dependencies like NPM. Yarn is open source and developed by the Facebook. Yarn is fast, reliable and secure dependency management tool. Yarn stores dependencies locally which avoid the download of these packages multiple times and if required then easily reinstalled without internet because it fetches from the disk when executing the yarn add command. Yarn auto generates a yarn.log file. It helps when you add, upgrade, remove dependency with the yarn CLI. It will automatically update yarn log file. I hope you got some idea about the yarn. Now let's install yarn. First, let's start the database server. Server started and running on 8081 port. Open the integrated terminal. And now let's start the npm server using the npm start command. npm server started and running on 3000 port. Let's open this URL in the browser. See, it is working. Now let's log in. To find out the username and password, let's open the readme.md file. See, here are the credentials. Let's log in using the admin credential. Logged in successfully. Add book menu is working. Book list also coming properly. User list also working fine. Basic navigation is working as expected. Let's log out. Logged out successfully. Now, let's see how to install yarn. But before that, open the package JSON file. So here, when you execute the npm install command, it download these dependencies. Same dependencies we can download using the yarn also. Like I said earlier, yarn is also a package manager and yarn stores dependencies locally, which avoids the download of these package multiple times. First, terminate the server. So here, first we need to install yarn using the npm command. Here is the command and command is like npm install hyphen g yarn. And yarn package added. Now let's execute the yarn command. But here you can see it is not working and giving some security error. So first we need to fix this error. Open new terminal. Change the directory from here to the user directory. Now from here we need to execute some command. So the command is like set execution policy remote signed scope current user. Command executed successfully. As we set the execution policy. Now let's check using the get execution policy command. See, it is giving the output like remote signed. So execution policy set properly. Even you can check all the execution policy list. See, the command is very simple. See, it is including the current user also. Now let's again try to execute the yarn command. See, now it is working and installation starts. Installation completed. Typically, this installation takes minimum five minutes. Let's execute again yarn. See, execution completed very quickly. To find out the yarn command, let's execute the yarn help command. As you can see, there are so many commands available. And here is the run command, which we need. Let's execute the yarn run command. See now, again it is asking for choosing the command. Here, let's choose start. See server started. Let's check now everything is working or not. See it's working. Stop the server. Now let's execute complete command like yarn run start. See server started. Still everything is working same as earlier. Even yarn is installed still we can start the npm server using the npm command. Let's execute the npm start command. See server started. Still working same as earlier. So we can run the server either using yarn or npm. Now we have two choices. npm and yarn both are the package manager and both manage the dependencies. Only difference is compared to npm, yarn dependency management is faster because it stores dependencies locally. Stop the server and close everything. Let's commit the changes. Add some commit message. As you can see, it added a yarn log file. So yarn auto generates a log file 
it helps when you add upgrade remove dependencies with the help of yarn cli command and it automatically update the yarn log file let's click on the commit and push button file committed successfully let's open our github page see here is the repository and here is the yarn log file so now when you clone this project you don't need to run npm install command you can simply run yarn and then you can run yarn run start command i hope you learned something from this video please subscribe to us and thanks for watching